All right, so this is the um, Starlink Mini. This is a satellite-based uh, internet service uh, by Mr. Elon Musk. Uh, we started talking about uh, using this product after the big spectrum outage that happened here in uh, Texas uh, after the hurricane. And so we wanted to play around with this. I've never opened one of these boxes, never used one of these pieces of equipment. So we're gonna kind of learn about this together. Uh, let's see if this works. So this device, I wanna say was right around 500 bucks. Um, it's supposed to have everything we need to uh, have like a portable dish. And uh, the way we chose this mini was one that's pretty portable. It's kind of small. The idea is that you're not gonna permanently mount this unit. You're gonna use it temporarily when you need something. Um, the other thing about this one is uh, there's different subscriptions you can add and this is one that's uh, relatively cheap per month it's about 50 bucks a month and it's metered so we get a certain amount of bandwidth that we can use and then after that you pay if you use more but it keeps the monthly cost of the device pretty low um, so this looks like it's the actual uh, satellite unit um, my understanding is we're going to point this into the sky uh, when we're ready Somewhere there should be some instructions. Maybe we'll find those in a second. Here's a little diagram. Don't know what that's gonna be for. Kinda looks like uh, planets, space of some kind. It comes with a like a 50 foot long cable. I think that's what this is right here. We do have some instructions and I'm not too proud to read them in a second when we need to do that. Uh, this looks like the outlet that we're going to use to plug it in uh, to the wall and get power. Um, this looks like some kind of mounting contraption. We'll see what that does in a second. And that's all that's in the box. I'm a little surprised. I kind of thought there'd be more stuff to unpack. We're going to look at the box, at the pictures on the box, and uh, see if that doesn't tell us what to do. So basically, we're telling me to... Uh, Take the satellite dish part of the unit here. Looks like it says to open up this little kickstand on it, little kickstand. And then uh, we're gonna plug in one part of this giant cable. Little Velcro. All right. Uh, so this looks pretty uh, dummy proof. It's basically the same cable on both ends. So one of them is going to get plugged in right here, and then one of them looks like it's going to get plugged in right here. And now I'm going to stretch this down the table. It's plugged in the wall now, and we have a little blue light. I'm guessing that's telling us it's doing something. We're going to do this. And then it says to open up the app, and there's a QR code there for us to use. We're installing an app on the iPhone for uh, Starlink. So it looks like we're gonna start the setup here. Uh, we have the mini. Uh, can, yeah, that looks like it. We have the mini, so we'll confirm that. Uh, okay, now it looks like we have to go outside. <laughs> so we've moved outside. We have the unit still plugged in inside right now. Um, we're gonna try to get it uh, oriented to uh, get a connection. So we're gonna see how this part goes. Find a central location has built-in Wi-Fi. Okay, that's fine. I have a location. Plug the Starlink in. My Starlink is plugged in. Done. Uh, so it wants us to connect to the Wi-Fi called Starlink. And there it is right there. So we can uh, get connected there. Let's see what it does. Now if we jump back over here says we're connected paired successfully that's great let's do continue so we're gonna wait it says determining alignment I basically just unboxed it and threw it on the ground so uh, pretty easy setup so far oh, look now it says it's online talking to satellites Okay. All right. So now we can configure. Oh, look, statistics. Let's see. All right. So we have some, we have some stuff going on here. Um, 
So we have it connected. It says that we have a success rate of only 30 something percent on the pings. So that's pretty, pretty low. We'll wait for that to maybe improve. Latency doesn't look so bad. Uh, let's see here. We could probably do a quick like speed test inside the software. So speed test. No, that's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty quick. I'm kind of surprised, uh, much faster than I thought it would be. So we left the satellite out in the parking lot and we configured the Wi-Fi on the satellite dish. So now it's broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. Uh, came inside into the conference room and I was able to connect to that Wi-Fi, even though it's sitting out in the parking lot. Um, we're gonna do a quick speed test here and just see how fast it is, even though we're a little bit further away from the device. Um, see if the speed is as good or maybe a little different. We'll find out here in a second. Okay, so it's doing a speed test. I would tell you that that's about the same as it was when we were sitting out in the parking lot. Maybe a little bit of latency, but still good amount of bandwidth. Um, I would think that this amount of bandwidth could easily support I don't know, five or 10 people working from the device maybe, um, maybe even more, pretty fast actually. Um, so that was a pretty successful test and very easy to set up. Like I said, I'd never used one of these devices before and we basically went and put it in the parking lot and then connected to it in just a couple of minutes. Um, I think this would be a really good uh, potential solution for folks instead of using a cellular hotspot type of solution um, when it comes to some kind of backup internet service. So uh, thanks for checking this out. Um, hopefully this was helpful and maybe you know a little bit more about Starlink now. Thanks.